Is that a bingo? And just there? just recently, uh, I don't know if you knew the they used one of their songs for the new Slurpee commercial. Who did? Um, Slurpee? Yeah, Seven Eleven. Yeah, for their new Slurpee commercial, they uh, it's called um, "Hey Little Man" is the name of the song, and it's on their album. But they only used that very first part, and they and then they used kind of the middle part without any words because the words don't wouldn't match the commercial. But they used that song as their as the, and then they did that. Um, their one of their songs was featured in that uh, Amazon Prime show. It's about uh, Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks. It's loosely based on their life story. I can't remember the name. It's something in the six. But episode eight, they used one of their one of their songs in that episode. Just recently. I may have to tell you about this because. Yeah, the Sean Nagy. He uh, he bought. I think he bought a lot of the Norma Petty's catalog catalog and stuff. And so he's been kind of doing stuff like that, promoting some of the artists from uh, Norman Petty's catalog. And, and he, he even sent me an email probably about a year ago saying that he was going to try to uh, use their songs, trying to prom keep their, you know, the band alive. And so it's been kind of cool. What What is the, what is it with, the songs from our past and the way it makes us feel. I don't know, but it's like my kids. They'll listen to 80s and 90s because that's the songs that they grew up. Although they do, because of Mike's band, they still like the old, like, you know, Elvis and the Beatles, and they like a lot of those older songs because that's what they, that's what we were listening to and that's what they were hearing when they were little. But, so the legacy lives on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, even even the reason that that Jimmy Fallon, I think, even came in our store is the guy that brought him here, knew Mike and was a customer of ours. Because the minute he walked in the door, he said, "This is Mike's wife." So, Mike was the reason <laughs> that they ended up stopping here. You know, that was a cool so. experience. Yeah, it was kind of cool. Yeah, it was fun. He's a great guy. Yeah, he they walked in and he said, uh, "This is Mike's wife." And so Jimmy Fallon walked up to me and extended his hand. And he goes, "Hi, I'm Jimmy Fallon." And I was thinking, "All right, <laughs> no." And so I just reached over and lifted up his glasses. Did you? Because so, they were really dark and I couldn't see his eyes. And so I just lifted up and go, "Oh yeah." That is Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> so he started laughing and then he gave me a big hug. <laughs> And then Juan um, showed him the guitars, and he ended up buying a guitar, and then... He just needed something to play with, and he came to Mike's music. Well, that's what he said. He says, I just need a guitar to play on my way home, because they were on their way back to New York. And they were just, they were been up in, in the Jackson area with some other movie stars, and they were just driving by, going to the airport. And, but yeah, he said, yeah, let's stop there. And so... Then he said, well, let's go outside and take some pictures. Yes. Said, let's go out over by the sign where it has the mic's music. And so he said, okay. <laughs> Great. Do you have that picture? I don't, I don't, I think I saw it on somebody else's website. Do I have your permission to use that? Sure. If I steal it off the internet. Yeah, it's on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. So, yeah. you know, and that's the randomness of celebrity sometimes. But obviously people are drawn here. Well, it's so beautiful here. I'm just talking about your store. Oh, <laughs> well, it's old, but it has a lot of character, I guess. It has a, a good vibe, I guess. It does. And that's why I told Juan, I said, our new slogan needs to be Mike's Music, where every customer is a celebrity. Right? I love it. <laughs> and I think Fallon would agree. Because... <laughs> We didn't treat him any different than we would have anybody else that walked in the door. Except that he shook my hand and gave me a hug. <laughs> well, I did that too, and you laughed at me. Because you didn't believe me who I was. But then you jacked the prices up 200%. I don't understand. <laughs> what a great event. What a great, great place to work, too. Yeah. 
this would be the kind of place that young budding musicians would like to be. And you do the books and everything, right? Mm -hmm. Well, and over the years, Mike, Mike has, has really helped a lot of 